Welcome here in Germany at the Meyerhof and behind me you can see the beautiful silhouette. This will be the next ship. She will get real grass in the rear of the ship and uh, we are doing the installation step by step uh, inside here the building but also outside. I want to show you more about this entire bone installation in this documentary. Actually I'm standing right now here already on the next ship, on the fifth cruise ship going out uh, here from the Meyerhof with real green grass on deck 15, approximately 50 yards above uh, sea. Jörg Borning is the founder and owner of Green Roof Design and engineer firm Green Roof Service. He is the first green roof consultant in the nation and helped to bring to life some of the most well-known landmark projects in the U.S. green roof history. York provided expert advice and design options that made the Chicago City Hall the first green roof in the U.S. and designed the first green roof on a New York municipality building on the Bronx County Courthouse. Gorg also aided the Sustainable South Bronx with delivery and job creation as well as training for the courthouse project. Jörg Breuning first came in touch with Green Roofs and Green Roof Technology, or so-called Eco Roofs, in 1980 as an employee at a German landscape company. In 1985, he started his own company focused on extensive green roofs. Since then, his company has overseen uncountable projects and introduced many new green roof innovations and installation techniques. Jörg Breuning brought his extensive horticultural knowledge and hands-on experience to American companies for the first time in 1998. He helped provide the critical information and knowledge needed to start green roof industry leaders such as Green Roof Plants, Roofscapes, Intrinsic, and Furbish Company. Soon after, Jörg founded Green Roof Service LLC to serve the ever-increasing demands of the American market. This would later become Green Roof Technology in 2011. York has also helped the industry grow in terms of training and guidelines by promoting the FLL to ASTM and Green Roofs for Healthy Cities. Our approach to the cruise experience is to be constantly pushing the envelope forward. And there's many new features on Silhouette, really all around the Lawn Club. Lawn Club subsurface structure. Steel deck. Protection retention fabric. Drainage board. Filter layer. Subsurface irrigation network. Mineral lightweight grown media. Reinforcing mesh, washed rolled turf. This shipyard is truly amazing. I've been here since 2005 is when I first started coming here to build the Solstice class of ships. I think just the fact that we're standing indoors right now in a shipyard tells a lot of the Meyer Wharf story. Their attention to detail, their attention to quality, their attention to constant improvement. To provide optimal nutrients in water, four miles of automated subsurface drip irrigation are used.
There is no soil, but rather a three and a half inch growing media system made of combined mine washed and dried quartz sand, crushed expanded clay, and washed volcanic pumice. The media drains well and is prone to damage from spiked or high heeled shoes and is not stable for that kind of foot traffic. To combat this, a polypropylene geogrid is used to stabilize it so that it can withstand the foot traffic. It was this knowledge and expansive background that made the designs for not one, but four celebrity cruise ship long clubs a tremendous success. Normally, a system that would support a golf course quality lawn requires at least one foot of soil. This was too deep a profile for the ship and added too much weight. We have also other areas. I think Hideaway, which is just behind us, is, uh, is a, a great change to our mind. We have this experience for our guests called the Molecular Bar. And you watch this man, Junior Marino, create these amazing, they're works of art. These drinks are works of art. And you'll get your martini and the smoke is coming up. The Root Zone Mix is a soilless mixture below the growing media. The substrate is unconsolidated, lightweight aggregates from calcined clay and volcanic pumice. Sand is used to smooth the surface and form a bridge to the lightweight media. The mix is designed to allow for rapid drainage and low weight bearing load. perfect astroturf lawn, but not anyone can have a perfect lawn, especially on a ship sailing through various climates around the world. To make this possible, two types of grasses were needed, cold season and warm season. Wash sod is used to provide hygienic grass free of pests and soil. It is easy to install and without pests it reduces the need for pesticides Ooh. and extra maintenance. Oh, look at that. The main facility we have on board Celebrity Eclipse is our real grass lawn on the top deck where people can play croquet. It's twice the size of the centre court at Wimbledon.
No, I'm not in my back garden at home. I'm on the top deck of this beautiful ship, um, standing on half an acre of real grass. Uh, on this beautiful lawn, you can have a picnic, you can play some bowls. And just behind me is the hot glass show, where you can watch beautiful works of art appear right before your eyes by the Corning Museum of Glass. And uh, joining me here is uh, Dan Pierce, who's the editor of TTG. Uh, Dan, I understand this is your first time on a cruise ship. Yes, it is, and I'm, I'm very impressed by all the things that I've seen that I wouldn't really have expected to see on a cruise ship. A, a five-star luxurious ship, can you see why? Uh, well, I think we're standing on one of the very reasons why um, it falls into that category. I think if you were to make up a list of things that were, you were unlikely to find on a cruise ship, an, an immaculate lawn like this one would be quite near the top of the list. During installation and on some of its voyages around the world, the ships cruise through cool weather conditions, which can be less than ideal for Bermuda grass and cause it to go dormant. Ryegrass is a cool season turf grass, well adapted to cold climates. It is even used in some of the southern states during cool winter months when Bermuda is dormant. During this time, the ryegrass is overseeded and grown in optimal conditions. On certain itineraries, the lawn can be exposed to all four seasons. The mixture of the two divergent types of grass provides the ability to have a high quality venue for guests. For our warm season grass, we chose Tiffway Bermuda. Tiffway Bermuda is the most successful and ubiquitous turf grass with a great range of adaptation in climate and use. It can be mowed from 0.2 inches to 2 inches in height, which contributes to its flexibility in use. It is available around the world wherever warm season grasses are grown. It tolerates foot traffic, salt, and suits the performance criteria for the lawn which ranges from home turf recreational use to putting. The Lawn Club occupies about 14,000 square feet. Before the installation, numerous tests were done on over a dozen different grass species in locations such as University of Florida, Celebrity Galaxy, Celebrity Century, Amsterdam, Pattenburg, and Miami, Florida. Note, sod replacement during cruises is typically not washed and is grown on sand. The depths of the sand should be calibrated to one inch to help with stability after replacement. The maximum weight of the saturated system is 140 metric tons compared to the sand which would weigh 380 metric tons. While the lawn club is meant for recreational use, there are some activities that are simply prohibited. With over 3,000 guests on a relatively small area, injury from collision from sports involving a thrown ball like football is a safety concern. Moreover, the hot glass show, which is right next to the lawn club, deals with extreme temperatures and a missed ball or frisbee could result in a serious damage or injury. How do we do that? And uh, we found out in the last uh, four years that as an average we have to change out the grass uh, approximately every nine months. Every nine months is three times longer than we originally thought since after nine months we have almost 110,000 guests going over the grass and 
comparing to a soccer stadium or a football stadium, it is uh, an unbelievable amount of people being on the grass, using the grass, walking over the grass, having picnic, playing uh, the lawn games. In a stadium, in a football stadium or soccer stadium, they change out the grass approximately four or five times a year just to make sure that they have uh, perfect conditions. Our perfect conditions are more in regards of the visual aspect. We want to make sure that the grass has always a nice green color nice green and beautiful our specification and that's how our lawn people maintain the lawn in the long run.